Hey guys, it's Chef Barry. Um, today I'm not out hunting, even though it is my day off. It's been rough driving to California a lot lately due to go hunt and drive there and back. It's putting some miles on my car. But today I thought I'd do some backyard prospecting with my new toy. Which, if you can't tell what this is, that is the Spike Strike gold cube super turbo charger i think is what he calls it but anyway i got the camo cube out and it is set up i have some cons from i don't know where i don't know from when but we're gonna run those through because according to spike strike prospecting equipment this will catch 80% of the gold. So we're gonna test that out today. I do have a standard gold Q mat in there and then two regular mats. Go to this plain Jane gold cube. But we're also gonna do some pay dirt in there. Got two Eureka Sands regular mix, like two or three of these little bags from um, Klondike Clinkers little quarter pound bag also a bag of cons my good buddy Dano sent me from I think Ohio but we're gonna mix that all together plus some tailings or remnants of some panned material just to give it some more dirt and we're gonna run this through and see what it does so as you guys could see from my shirt I got a little wet we had some technical difficulties the hose came completely off flew right at me and I got soaked so we're gonna have to do this not exactly how I wanted to but we're still gonna do it so we'll get this going So this is the top of the cube charger. Um, there is some gold in that very top thing where I was trying to have the spray bars go. And then just go down. There's a good little mountain gold there. There's gold in these other dropper folds. I did see it. And they are pretty loaded full of black sands and stuff. But like I said, I'm not gonna say it's crap off the bat. Not gonna say it's the best thing since sliced bread either right now because I still gotta play with it and fine tune it, uh, figure it out. It'd help if I didn't have this table so high too for me. But one thing I did notice is that there's a pretty substantial gap between these, the grizzly. Ooh, I don't know what that is, that's kind of cool and the side of the sluice that i know got bigger rocks down in the gold cube because i'm looking at it right there and that probably did have something to, to affect yeah there's one that just fell through without me me just looking at them and it seemed like the water flow was off it's kind of odd but uh the gold cube looks 
fuller than it normally would so or the dream mat in there but we're gonna pan that out see what it looks like and go from there and do all this all the same material same everything again to give it a fair review and opinion i did mention the bigger rocks getting through and whatnot i will show you what i'm referring to that is a little bit too big for a gold cube i think but there is gold in these dream mats there's gold there there's some there i'm sure i'm not sure how these big rocks in here is going to affect this mat but i do know that's bigger than what should be going through a gold cube and there's a little bit of gold right there on the edge so gold did get past the spike strike topper but i didn't expect it to catch everything because nothing catches everything but there's some things that catch more than those but yeah this is what was in the gravity g drop thing so i definitely gotta get this figured out with those grizzlies that are kind of jacked up but there's there's stuff in here there's gold and there's tons of black sands even with i don't think enough flow because i was having pump issues you didn't get to see but you got to see how what i got so we're gonna just let this go and get to panning i just want to look at the dream mat real quick so while we wait for our pan our panning tub over here to fill up which it's about halfway there um this is how much material was caught in the spike strike cube topper which is not a crazy lot but there's a lot of fine material in here there is some pretty fine looking gold in there um but we will pan this down and see what it really looks like All right, guys, it's Chef Barry. I finally got done panning through the cons and cleaned them up pretty good from the Spike Strike cube topper and then also the Dream Mat layer of my gold cube. Um, I will say the, the cube topper caught the majority of the gold, like no questions asked, even caught flying gold. Um, but there was some issues with it. I did mention earlier like the punch plate not going all the way across the top of the sluice to prevent bigger rocks from getting through into your cube um, the holes for the spray bar um, on both sides of the sluice weren't drilled evenly it's not the end of the world it's not a deal breaker but some people it might be um, the design changed from when I first saw them to when I received mine which, whatever, it's not the end of the world. But it's a little bit different, but, you know, things happen, designs change, whatever, no big deal. So we're gonna weigh up the gold, and I'll give you my first overall impressions. It, it's good, you know, besides those little things I did mention, it did what I was supposed to have caught most of the gold. But if you're catching most of your gold before it hits the cube, you're doing good because it'll save you from running through your cube and maybe not catching it there. So we're going to weigh up our gold right now. So the first bit of gold that we're going to weigh is from the Spike Strike cube topper. Which there is some black sands and a couple of little things in there. But that is two... 0.652 grams, which is pretty nice. I'm happy with that. So we're going to put that off to the side and then weigh the other gold from the first mat of Dreamer. Alright, now time to weigh the one mat of Dream Mat in my gold cube that is directly under, it's the first mat 
that the material goes through. So that's 0.282 grams of gold for the first mat of green mat. And now we're gonna put it all together to see what it caught. And I don't even look at my other green mat or the Q mats because I mat gets it all pretty much. So so just shy of three grams of gold, which it's kind of nice to get some shiny. That's the best gold I've got for the year. It's the only gold I've got for the year besides a beauty half ounce nugget I won in a drawing online. But it's some nice chunky gold. So, all in all, I'm pretty happy with my cube topper. There's a couple little things I want to work out, which I'm going to. Um, but I would recommend it. It, it classified the material fine, except the little issues I did mention. Um, you know, it, it's good. It's cheaper than the gold cube high banker attachment. And uh, it looked like it catch more gold than it. That, that's one of the main reasons I went with Spike Strikes cube topper besides the cost. The cost is really good. It, I think it was like $226 shipped to my house total, which is not bad. Um, but yeah, no, it's a good piece of equipment. It'll definitely be a great addition to the camo cube. I'll be taking it out hopefully sooner than later after I get a turkey, which hopefully I get one in a week or so because it's been a rough season so far. All my spare time has been dedicated to trying to get a turkey. Usually I'm already done. But anyway, um, we're going to do a whole nother batch of this video. I'm going to save this gold, keep it out of my other gold that I keep. And I'm going to rerun all this material all over again once I make my modifications to the, the cube topper. I'm going to fix a couple things on it that I did mention. And then we'll do this whole video all over again to see how it works then. And uh, you won't see me hopefully soaking wet with a t-shirt, um, holding the hose on, running material. And we'll be able to get some better footage of running it. So first thoughts and impressions on the Spike Strike Cube Topper.